Well, as a person thinks about uh, Jesus, here we go into another section. And if you think about it, in this section, we're talking about how Jesus can cast out demons. And if you think about it in his time, when you try to cast out demons, let, let me just give you the rundown of, of what it is. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And if by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do the children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if you cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God it is come unto you. Or else how can one either enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first blind the strong man, and he will spoil his house? He that is not with me is against me, and he that God not with me scattered abroad. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of signs and blasphemies shall be forgiven unto men. But the blaspheme against the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit shall be shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speak against the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in the in this world, neither in the world to come. Either Make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. O generation of vipers, how can ye be being evil? Speak good things, for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of his of the heart of you could say of his heart basically bringeth good forth good things and evil men out of evil treasure bring forth evil things but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment for by thy words thou shalt be justified and thy words shall be condemned well basically that is what Jesus is kind of talking about exactly what he said the life of Jesus, a lot of people probably don't know that if you read a section, and I, I think it's in the book of Thomas, but I'm not sure exactly. In a certain section, it seems that Jesus and a little boy was playing around. And I suggest, just so happened, they probably had a ladder or something, and they were on the roof of the house. And all of a sudden, the little boy slip and fall and break his neck. And then all of a sudden, the people have come around and seen what had happened and they had accused Jesus as but he was a child then and they had accused him of pushing the boy so it seems that Jesus had healed the boy as he came down from the ladder I guess from the roof um, supposedly they had a ladder I'm not even sure basically and he heals the boy and he tells the boy that he wants him to tell them the truth that he did not push him. Once the little boy is healed, the little boy says he did not, Jesus did not push him. He was accidentally, or he accidentally fell off of the roof of the house. And if you ever seen the movies and kind of uh, read the Bible as well, you can kind of see the exactly things that Jesus went through. Jesus was a carpenter working in a hot sun, especially in the desert. And basically, as years go by, he starts a ministry, you could say, and then he starts preaching. Then he goes from Galilee all the way to Jerusalem, and basically what happens is, is he gets crucified.